Hey everyone, this is Rose and I welcome you to my random channel. Today's video is going to be on a company that actually reached out to me and asked me if I would be interested in possibly reviewing their service. This company is called Fashion, I will admit, before they reached out to me. I had no idea who they were. Um, but apparently they've been around since April of 2015 and it is a smaller company. And it's basically like a at-home personal stylist delivery service that's comparable to a lot of other companies out there. But if you're a subscriber of mine, you know that there's a company on my channel that I've already done, I think, two reviews on. And first of all, it's not a monthly subscription service. Uh, you basically get styled whenever you put in a styling request. So it not being a monthly service, you don't have to worry about like remembering or you don't have to worry about, you know, a monthly charge each month. You don't have to worry about, oh, I gotta skip, you know, the month during a certain window. No, you go into the site and you request a styling session and that's when you're charged. The styling fee is only $15 and of course if you keep something that fee is applied to the item that you keep. Now if you end up not liking anything in your box per se, um, that's when the fee does apply and get deducted. But in one of the letters that they've sent me, they actually given me like an email address for me to contact in case I ended up not liking it in my box. So it's almost like a second chance or something like that. But anyway. I digress. If you're interested in learning more about fashion before I get into my first box with them, I will link their website down below. They do have an app that is compatible with both Android and iPhone um, that you could probably find in your app or Google Play Store. Um, but I'm briefly going to talk about the general gist of how the service works and as I'm talking about it, I'm going to cut in like clips of when I initially first got this box. And then just go from there. And then after I talk about all the specifics, I'm going to actually go through each individual item and try them on for you, uh, share the cost, and again, uh, basically tell you at the end what I'm keeping and what I am sending back. I am going to be sending something back. But anyway, fashion. I do have to say that the style quiz that you take is pretty extensive. They want to know, they want to know, of course, all your sizes. They want to see uh, get links to your possible like social media accounts so that they can look at your profile, get a gist of your style. And then of course they ask about, you know, style preferences, things like that, things that you would like to get in your boxes. But an interesting thing that I noticed though with fashion that I've not noticed with other companies, even ones that I've just researched on, is you actually can give like a price range request for all different types of items. They ask you about pants, dresses, shirts, accessories, uh, purses, shoes, you know, do you want to spend between 15 to $20, 20 to 40, 40 to 60, is price not a factor? So you can basically let them know if you have a budget and what that is, which I think is pretty cool. Once your profile is set up, um, you can actually go in and, well, First, before you can actually go and request a styling session, you do have to provide like the type of payment that you would like to use. And they have like a verification process that they do where they charge you a dollar, the dollar gets credited back, yada, yada, yada. But after you do that, you can start doing your styling requests. And normally when you do that, it takes the stylist two to three days. Of course, it's a newer company, so it could take longer. But that's the average range. And then the stylist will actually will email you back um, I believe it's eight to 10 choices. And out of those choices, you can pick five items. And then once that's done, the processing time is 10 to 12 business days, I believe. And then once you get your package, uh, mine, I think this actually shipped from Florida, to be perfectly honest, at least that's the address that I see on the, on the label. And so I got my package within three days, I think, either two or three days. Once you receive your items, you try everything on. They give you three business days to try everything on, decide what you want to keep. And then, of course, you go on the website, you'll check out, and then you'll send back whatever you don't want to keep. And that's really it. So, so far initially, and I'm not just saying this because they sent me this for review purposes, 
um, in which, let me go ahead and share. Um, I'm not getting all these items for free. They offered to give me like a credit, which basically is about the cost of one clothing item in exchange for this review. But even with that being a part of this, uh, of course, this is not going to affect my opinion on the service whatsoever. So I'm not just saying this to say this, but but what I know so far, especially if you've seen my other reviews on another company, there's a lot of qualities about this business that I like a lot because not that I mind spending money, I don't, but of course where I can save, I would prefer. And honestly, the cost of all five of these items in my first fashion box is still cheaper than the cost of one dress that I got from a previous service. But anyway, I'm going to stop rambling and I'm actually going to get into what was in my box since you've seen how it arrived. Uh, they sent me like three little sheets. Um, one that basically says, you know, hi Rose. And there's some like styling recommendations on there. And uh, it talks about the referral program. Uh, if you have someone that signs up through your link, they'll get $10 and you'll get $10, which I'll put my referral link down below. Of course you don't have to use it. And then the second sheet actually breaks down my invoice. And the smart thing that Fashion does is they basically, they offer you a deal. If you keep three or more items in your box, they will give you an extra 25% off of all the items. And so on my invoice, they actually already calculated how much cheaper my items would be if I keep everything. It's pretty smart that they basically spell out the savings for you. And this last sheet that they sent me basically breaks down the service. It basically tells me how... Uh, what I need to do next, of course, try everything on, buy what I like, send back the rest. And uh, they, of course, sent the prepaid. Everything was inside this envelope, by the way. This is the prepaid shipping bag that they actually sent with my items that I could put the items that I don't want to keep inside. And they do offer exchanges, which they give the email address for that. And, oh, this is pretty neat. For each fashion box, they help save an animal. They contribute a dollar to Second Chance Rescue New York City Dogs. And then you, of course, will leave you back to your stylist. So, all right, I'm going to get into probably the part that you're most interested in, the individual items and how they fit, and then my thoughts. So, Okay, the first item that I'm going to show you guys is what's on top here. It's this very beautiful biker jacket with front zipper. It's a size small, and it's in a mauve. And it's by a company called Skies or Blue, which I've never heard of. Um, of course, it has the fashion tag and then the actual clothing tag. This jacket is really beautiful, but I'll go ahead and tell you guys. Go ahead and spill the beans. This is the item that I'm going to be sending back. Only because if any of you guys know me, have seen my sense of style on my channel, I love biker jacket jackets, but I prefer them to fit tighter. And, I mean, this suede or this, whatever this material is, it just feels so nice, so soft, so luxurious. But I find this jacket to be kind of boxy on me. Fit a little bit tighter. I would definitely go out of my comfort zone and keep a pink jacket, but unfortunately the fit does not appeal to me at all. So this is the item that I'm going to be sending back. The other thing, oh the pockets are real. That's a nice touch. It's sad that it's nice when pockets are actually real. I mean it has nice zipper action on the, the sleeves, but the, the other thing I really didn't like about it is the fact that there has no closure to it. There's no buttons and no zipper on the front. So that's another con of this jacket. So I will be sending this back. Um, this jacket retails for $54. The so next item, I'll go ahead and tell you guys, I am keeping. This is the, they just call it the print top, size small in black. And this is by the company Paper Moon, which I've heard of that company before being used in other like home delivery styling services out there um again i don't usually do prints but i tried this on and i 
actually really like the way it fits. I like the little keyhole action and the cleavage area. And yeah, this is something I am going to keep. Um, this tank actually retails for only $24. Okay, the next thing I have, um, I'm thinking on the profile that you might share what your favorite color is. And so I don't know if this is just a coincidence or they actually paid attention to detail, but a royal, a royal blue tank in my favorite color. But this is a scallop neckline cami top, size small and royal blue. This retails for 28 bucks, and this is by that company that the jacket is by, Skies Are Blue. And I actually really like this tank. Of course, I am partial to the color, but I like the kind of dainty neckline. Again, very different for me. And uh, I actually liked a lot the way this fit, and the straps are adjustable, so. Okay, the next thing I am keeping, and it's a V-neck cold shoulder knit sweater, size small in the color black. This sweater retails for 48 bucks, and it's by Fate by LFD. And I think in the video you can see the details of the sweater, how it actually has like a different type of knit along the sleeves, and then of course the nice keyhole action that I find, you know, it's sexy and in a classy way um but yes black i would say is probably my second favorite color i probably about 60 percent of my wardrobe is indeed black but i am keeping this and then the last thing i'm really surprised at myself that i'm keeping this just because a lot of my newer pair of jeans are like stretchy and these jeans are not. Um, these are the High Rise, which is very different for me. High Rise Destroyed Skinny Jeans um, Denims. They retail for eight bucks. And these are a size two, folks. Not to toot my own horn, but if you're a subscriber of mine, or if you know me in real life, you know that I've been on a constant long fitness journey this whole year. That I've thankfully maintained through some programs that I'm in and I've not been able to fit in a size 2 since I was 18. Since high school. Which was a long time ago. I saw these and I slowly put these on. I held my breath. But they fit and they fit very nicely. Even for being how stiff they are. Even though I do find the holes kind of random in the front. But still I know at time they'll wear down more. But these jeans are by Just USA Design in Los Angeles. And so without the jacket, uh, my total drops from 202 to roughly $148. And then with a 25% discount, my total for my four items comes to roughly about $111, which four pieces of clothing that are not like cheap quality, that basically puts them at being less than $30 each. It's a win-win for me. So, again, if you're interested in giving fashion a try, I will put my referral link down below. Of course, you don't have to use it. And, yeah, if you have any other questions or comments, just ask. And I think this is going to be it for this video. So, again, this is Rose. And thank you so much for watching this crap. Um, if you found this video at all, helpful or entertaining then please don't hesitate to give it a thumbs up and subscribe become part of my random family and don't forget to click that bell for notifications even though i feel like it doesn't really do anything and until next time you guys i hope you all have a great day you will see me again hopefully very soon